I want to share, um, when I first started Hope New Hampshire, it was because uh, of knowing the homeless in this area were not going to have a place to be from lunch to dinner. That's what originally um, caused me to want to start this ministry. I've been doing this now for, for six weeks, and my real heart has become um, so burdened for those who are kicked out of the shelters, who now have no shelter and no food. I go to bed every night just wondering, like, you know, where they are. And this one person was kicked out of the shelter three months. So to me, it's almost like they're saying, go die. Because in this extreme weather, to be out and have no shelter and not have a place to sleep and have no, have no food is like, go die. To me, it seems that way. Isn't it? And one of the persons was telling to me, you know, when he doesn't have a place, can't stay in a friend's house and he's out all night, it's survival mode. It's just, you don't sleep, <clears throat> you just, you just try to survive, so you just keep walking, and you just try to stay alive. But they should have a place where they can get food, and a place where they can get shelter. This is where everybody knows me. Everybody here knows me. Everybody understands my situation. I've had my fingers cut off. I've had this whole hand. Finger was, how did that happen? Um, I, in the snowblower accident, this hand has all been pinned together. I had my head beaten in on this side with five guys beat me with for five dollars. And I got stabbed. It cut my cut my throat twice. Cut my spine up here. Left me in a tree. Two trees. Fill their belly a little bit with goodies and um, they're about the Lord and that's that's the best part. It felt like a family, like a unity. There was this unity here and healing. So when you're here I in the afternoon, do you feel safe when you're here? I know, I you feel, feel, feel safe. Absolutely safe, yeah. 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 That's, that's what we safe. want. Yeah. I've been searching for somewhere to, to serve, mostly, you know, homeless, the homeless and just people that need love, yeah. that don't know God's love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very comfortable here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you seem comfortable. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, her heart's been changed today. Yeah, oh. changed my outlook on those people. Because my teacher was saying that homeless people are yeah. saying yeah. mean things about them, saying that they can get help and it's their problem. But it's like, the homeless, and then just coming here kind of changed my outlook on it. That's awesome to hear that. I love that. And Josh, has it been helpful for you to have this place open the afternoon? Yeah, absolutely. I'm homeless. Uh, I just got out of prison uh, September 1st. So, I'm a big help. Good. We're glad we can help. Thanks for all you do. And then we're just here to pray would like to have a touch for healing in your mind, guys, not just your body. Your mind, your body, your spirit, your relationships. It's He died on the cross, and it's done. We are totally healed by faith, and now we need to find that out inside. Prayer, I, I, prayer is always on my mind. I always have prayer in my mind. I don't stop praying. For anything, for anything, for everybody. I walk down the street. If I see somebody that needs help, I pray. That's what I do. Jesus came to save and to heal. You'll hear that many times when we're around because that's what he did. Save and heal. And healing is for today. It's not pie in the sky by and by. And it's any part, mental, physical, spiritual, whatever you need, He will heal you.